Welcome back to SiteGrinder One Hint at a Time. Today we'll be looking at the page size hint. I have here in Photoshop a two page website that has a short page and a tall page on it. As you can see, um, I've got them laid up uh, with my layers and it's just it's pretty simple. Uh, what we're having here. So everything builds pretty well, except for one of the problems is that the tall page looks fine. I'll scroll down, and that's all great. But the short page is, well, it's just, the problem is it's got this big scroll area that just goes and goes and goes long after the page content has disappeared from the page. And so I'd like this to not have that. I'd like this scroll bar to not be visible on the right when we're looking at the short page. And in this particular reason, there's no reason to have it here. And that's what the page size layer is for. What the page size layer is a layer, it's a boundary layer that tells um, Photoshop, uh, tells SiteGrinder, this is how big I want the page to be. Without this, the presence of this layer, SiteGrinder presumes that the canvas size is the size of the page. And that's a usually, that's a pretty good assumption for pages that are similarly sized to one another. But if you have si pages of widely different sizes, then it's not so good. And so let's just go ahead and set up a couple page size layers. Now, my tall page here perhaps does not need one. It's off the canvas size is pretty close enough um, to the size that it is, so I'm going to skip that one. We'll just bring up the short page here, and this is the page where we're going to add the, the page size layer. So I'm going to use a uh, black rectangle here for my page size layer, and it's just a rectangle to tell us that well, my page size is about yay big. Now, I'm going to reduce, this blots everything out, so I'm going to reduce the, uh, the fill on it. There we go, something a little bit more reasonable. Now the page size layer is, will not normally be visible on the final page. There are ways to make it be visible on the page, and, and we'll see them in later videos, but normally the page size layer is invisible by default. The page size layer also handles the page alignment. If you just give the page size layer a normal name, it, you'll have a center on page alignment, that's the default. But if I want, I can name this page size layer left dash page size or right dot page size for left or right alignment. I can also name it center HV dash page size for full horizontal and vertical centering um, for very small um, for very small little pages where uh, we would use vertical centering, but typically you don't want to use vertical centering. Um, normally, the, the horizontal centering is, a, is good enough, and uh, I just name the page size layer something that uh, is uh, meaningful to me. Um, all right, well, we've added this. It's just going to go ahead and update my uh, layer comp. So now I've got the tall page, which does not have a page size layer, and the short page, which does. And so let's just go ahead and build this and see what we get. Now, the page size layer um, must contain, um, uh, oh, here we have an error. Um, in this particular case, the uh, I forgot there's a white background layer there that is uh, extending below. I don't really need that layer, so I'm just going to put the ignore hint on it. Good use, see, a good example of seeing the report, saving us um, from trouble always love the report. So as I was saying, there we go. The page size layer, uh, everything, all the content of the page must be within the bounds of the page size layer. Um, you can have things off the left or the right size of the page size layer, but you can't have anything vertically lower than the page size layer. Um, so the page size layers must accompany it. The, the exceptions to that are footers, and then if you're using uh, like browser background layers, those are also not considered content, and so they don't count. And of course, my ignore layer um, doesn't count as, as well. Um, you can't use the page size layer to crop the document. That's not what it is. Um, it's, it's just tell SiteGrinder, this is the size, this size encompasses the content of the page, and this is how big I want you to make the page. Um, so once again, here's my my tall page, it scrolls as we expect, and now the short page does not have a scroll bar at all until we get way up here, and now when we need to scroll, we have the option to scroll, um, but once it's taller, uh, we have no scroll bar. Uh, hope this was useful, and thank you very much.